I'm Christine from Holland America Line. Um, I'm based here in Queensland. Hi, my name's Shannon Morgan and I work for MSC Cruises. I'm Helen from Princess Cruises. Hi, um, I'm Tammy. I work for Flats and a Travel Group. My name is Craig McLaurin. I work for Norwegian Cruise Line. The cruise itinerary that's on my bucket list. We Holland America Line has a Grand Africa cruise, which I think would be stunning. I love Africa and uh, to be able to cruise all the way around, I think would be absolutely fantastic. So that's on my bucket list. Um, a cruise itinerary that's on my bucket list. I've been lucky enough to travel um, by a cruise in Alaska, Caribbean, South America, Australia, Mediterranean. I'm yet to do Antarctica and um, Iceland and Greenland, so they're definitely next on my bucket list. Got to get there first before climate change. So ocean cruising is for absolutely everybody. So people who have want really great culinary experiences, fantastic uh, entertainment, want to see multiple destinations, but also want some downtime as part of their holiday that they can experience on those sea days of the cruise. Well, ocean cruising is something really special. If you haven't yet done it, I really suggest you do. Because not only do you get to see more than one country or destination at a time, with all the amenities you can imagine, from great dining options to entertainment options, but you get to unpack once. That's only unpacking once and getting on a whole holiday taken care of. It's the only way really to travel if you want to sit back and relax. Some booking tips if this is your first cruise um, is that as soon as you've got your booking in place, you'll be able to go onto the Cruise Line's website and uh, complete your online check-in. This is a really great place also to see what opportunities there are for shore excursions or dining options. A lot of people think they can just get on board the ship and um, turn up at a port and there'll be something to do, but it's really important, especially for the likes of Alaska, that you pre-book your shore excursions either through the Cruise Line or through a credible provider of shore ex. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up in Alaska and you'll, all there is is uh, pubs and tourist shops so you really want to get out there and experience what you're there to see. Um, also dining, really important if you've got a, wanted early dining for families that you pre-book that prior. Um, there'll be options such as flexible dining early or late but if you want to eat at six o'clock every night with the same waiter who knows that your kids eat nuggets and chips every night then make sure you book that prior to your cruise as well. The most important things to consider when booking a cruise is to see how much you can prepay before you go. So if you can prepay for your drinks package, your Wi-Fi, those type of things, shore excursions, to prepay as much as possible so that when you're on holidays, you're not worrying about it, you're not thinking about it, it's all done for you. And with Holland America Line, um, if you pre-book your shore excursions, we actually have a best price guarantee. So if you do see something cheaper, then, it's, um, then we will actually refund you the difference. So it's it's well worth it uh, to have a look at those things before you go away on uh, your trip. Working for a cruise line, people are always asking me what are my tips for when going cruising. So uh, there's so many of them, but just a few. Make sure you get a cabin that you're comfortable with. Make sure if you want to have the views, you get a, an ocean view cabin or a balcony cabin. I really do recommend that because it does give you a completely different experience. Make sure that you get as much included in the cost of your cruise as you can. If you can really nail down your inclusions in the cost of the cruise, then you're not going to have a bill at the end, which sometimes can give people a bit of a shock. So that's, that's always a good option. And when you're looking at itineraries, obviously look at the places that you want to go. Make sure that you've got plenty of time in those ports to see as much as you possibly can. And if you can, find an itinerary that maybe has got somewhere you don't know about. Because there's nothing better than going to a place you know nothing about and finding out it can be the highlight of your cruise. And I've had that happen a couple of times. So th they'd be the main things that I would suggest to people is be a bit adventurous, make sure that you, you get everything included as much as you can and, and make sure the experience you have is something that you're going to really enjoy. So our Princess operates to all continents. We have cruises everywhere. Our three biggest destinations would be Alaska, Europe and Japan with Alaska being our number one destination because in Alaska we don't just offer cruise only, we own and operate our own wilderness lodges and we've got our own train service so you can get the full Alaskan experience with Princess. Oh look, MSC's most popular one is definitely our Grand Mediterranean. It's the combo of seven nights in the east and seven nights in the west med. You can choose which way you want to do first and we provide a free coach transfer at the end of the first cruise from Genoa to Venice or vice versa for the second cruise. The benefits of this is that getting 
guests get to get to see the beautiful historical cities and also the must-see bucket list spots in Europe. So with Holland America Line, our, uh, we have over 40 different activities that you can do every day on a Holland America Line ship. Um, and the Holland America Line client really likes to um, know about their destination. So they want to hear about um, the culture, the history, the food. We do cooking demonstrations. Uh, we do all sorts of things like that so that people actually get to know about the destination that they're traveling to. And we have some great onboard speakers as well. If you're a first time cruiser and you're not sure about getting on your first ship, one thing I would recommend is doing a, a land-based itinerary. So a lot of the cruise lines um, in the Mediterranean in particular and also Hawaii. Hawaii um, Norwegian cruise lines have a fabulous itinerary where you're in port every day. So you actually get off the ship in the morning, hire a car, drive around Hawaiian Islands, go swim with the turtles, uh, whatever takes your fancy, and then get back on at night and have dinner and uh, and go to show and then uh, wake up in another port the next day, which is a great way to travel and great for first time cruises as well.